Do you think that's full? Let me go a hair more. Oh! He made me do that. Hello, thank you for tuning in. It has been a while. We have been filling casks, making rum, and selling rum, and having a really good time. Today's a special day because we are filling our first ever Century Drop cask. Century Drop because we are selling 100 private casks. The first one has been sold. So we have three different casks on option for you to purchase. We have a bourbon cask filled with our Spice Drop mark. We also have that same cask, the bourbon cask, that we're filling with our, what we're calling Project X, which is a really really aromatic molasses mark which we put through our double retort. The third option, you have an STR cask, one of the ones behind me actually. The shaved, toasted and recharred old wine barrels that have been refurbished. Absolutely fantastic for aging our rums. So you have the aromatic molasses Project X mark in that as well through the double retort. So we're filling three barrels, very exciting. Here are the casks ready to fill over here. Say hello to the two bourbons. Here they are, and this is our STR cask. The STR is an American oak STR. It's char level two, which is charring the inside of the barrel, flame throwing it essentially for 30 seconds. So first things first, you need to weigh the barrel, make sure you know the weight of it when it's empty. And that way, when we've emptied it, or you empty it, if it's your private cask, you know how much rum went into it and how much rum has come out of it. That tells us the angel share. So we just weighed the empty barrel. It's 47 kilos, that's it empty. We're now gonna open it up and start filling it. Nailed it, one go. I undid that for him first before he hit it. <laughs> Delicious. This is a wild, I can't hear myself. This is a wild turkey cask. Absolutely delicious of Romans. Get in there, Sean, have a nose. Still actually smells really good. Oh, it smells of coconut, it's definitely bourbon. You've got that vanilla, a bit of spice actually. It's quite rye-like. Yeah, it's really nice sort of winter spice notes. I think this is gonna be absolutely incredible with the Project X going into it. Sean's just asked me if he looks all right. Do I look all right, he says. <laughs> you look great, mate. <laughs> you put the lab coat on. I was only wearing this because I was painting earlier. Look at this. Ta-da! That tells you everything you need to know about what is inside those barrels. I've probably said this before, but it's like, I'm very visual and I work with color and flavor. So those barrels filled with those orange signifiers on the front, those orange logos, that tells me that that is the molasses column mark with our wild yeast. And I know what that tastes like. So then I know, right, that bourbon cask is gonna taste like this with that rum in it. Sean, you ready? <laughs> he looks hilarious. You look great, mate. You look absolutely great. I shouldn't bully you. Hi, hi Will. So this, this bit's my favourite bit, like, that smells like heaven like that. He's absolutely right, because as the rum is going in, it's billowing out the aromas, and you get all of the bourbony wood notes at the same time as the rum notes that we're pouring in. It gives us the best impression of what's to come. Let's show the people that we're actually doing what we say we're doing. Oh yeah, sorry. Yes. Oh. oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, wow. I know we're biased but it is delicious, isn't it? So this is the opportunity to own one of these. Yours, your name on it, you do with it what you want to be part of our century drop. I'm definitely buying one. You go a tiny bit more. That's risky. Oh, that's that was perfect. very risky, but he's absolutely smashed that. Go on, put it out, because there's now liquid in the pipe. He's got to pour that back in. Ooh! <laughs> very good, Sean. Right, so we're on to the next cask. This is the STR, Sean, hammer away. Ooh, smells very different. If <laughs> wine and bourbon had a baby, this is it. One hand, and we are first. This is gonna be ready a lot quicker than the bourbon cask as well, I think. Uh, what we've experienced at the distillery is some of our own STRs, they've displayed that they've done their job in a very, very short space of time. We're talking months rather than years. So I think the intended age for this type of barrel is sort of leave it in there for three to five years. With a bourbon cask, happily leave it in there for five years. You could leave it in there for, for 10, 20 years. I'm, I'm gonna mess this up, I just know I am. Do you think that's full? Yeah. Oh! He made me do that. I was happy and he said a little bit more. It's full. Right, it's getting dark and that's how you know this has taken us a long time to get to this point. But it's all good. We're about to fill the third barrel. It's another bourbon cask. However, we've changed the spirit over. This is the one that's gone through our column. It's a molasses with our wild yeast, fermented for a week and through our pot in our wash still and then through the hybrid column, making a very nice aromatic but delicate light style rum. Sean, you ready? <laughs> Second leave it open. So it's a totally different rum to the one we've had before, so let's have a smell. That, that's just silly. This, this whole thing is silly. I don't know how to tell you what we're smelling. In this cask, this is a top-notch choice. 
Very good. I look so small compared to you in camera. It's because I'm holding the camera. If you were to hold the camera like that. Oh, yeah. Look. Now my head looks really big. <laughs> you do have a. No, all right. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Excellent. He's feeling pleased with himself, I think. Well, when you filled a thousand of them, you know. That one is absolutely full. I'm gonna roll it over and uh, let them rest. So it's been a long, busy day of casking and distilling and putting on another brew. Will's been on the brew. I feel like I'm signing off a jazz band. Sean's been on the distillation and the tours. I've been standing around pointing and pulling levers. We filled eight barrels today. We only showed you three, but yeah, we filled eight. Three different types of uh, barrels for you to choose from. We're only offering 100. It's first come, first served. Thank you very much for watching and thank you for the people that have uh, purchased our first barrels. If you're interested in purchasing a cask, email me at casks at dropworks.co.uk or have a look on the website. I'll find you soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.